Hello friends, welcome to <coughs> recording video tutorial series by Robots in Motion. In this video tutorial, we will see how we can use the option of object control in recording. Uh, so at the end of the day, we will end up making a slider crank mechanism. You can see the simulation of this mechanism here. Okay. So let's get started with scratch. Let's delete all this. Yeah, okay. Let's this this marker also. Let's make a box first. We will choose point point method and we will give the coordinates as minus fifty, comma, minus fifty, comma, minus fifty, two fifty, comma, fifty, comma, fifty. As you can see, a box is created. So this coordinate is 50 comma 50 comma 50 and this co coordinate is minus 50 comma minus 50 mi comma minus 50 okay so let's use this object control feature to to translate it by additions of 50 mm in minus z direction so let's make this minus 50 in 50 in minus z direction oh, I need to select the object first and I can shift as you can see the object has been shifted to 50 mm in minus z direction and I think these markers are not visible to you so let's increase the marker size you can click on this icon size button. Let's make it 50. 50. Okay, now it's pretty clear. So now let's translate this uh, object by a distance of 500 mm in positive x direction. Okay, so you can see the slider has shifted to 500 mm in uh, positive acceleration now let's make a uh, let's make our crank the length of the crank will be uh, 300 mm okay so let's edit this crank edit Go to its properties, change these properties. We are making the uh, both the radius equals and depth also equal to 25 mm. Click OK. You can see the required change. Let's change the color also. Go to graphic property, click on any color like yellow. Click OK. Okay, now exit this body edit mode. Yeah, so the the slider in the slider crank mechanism, as you saw, this uh, this crank should be at some angle to x axis. So let's make uh, let's rotate it by. Let's rotate it by 53.13 degree. So you have to write 53.13, and we are rotating it about z direction in uh, counterclockwise direction. I need to select the object first. Okay, so you can see the required change. 
now we'll uh, now we'll make a another other link that is coupler we'll choose the first point that is this one the size will be 400 mm let's edit this also go to body edit mode go to its properties make these parameters as 25 each Let's exit this mode. Yeah. So now I rotate. I want to rotate this link by uh, thirty-six point eight seven degrees, so that uh, the center of this circle and the center of this circle coincides. Okay. So uh, let's go to object control. Go to rotate tab now scalar rotate okay so thirty six point eight seven degrees I have to rotate again it by uh, again it about z direction let's rotate it so you can see the the object has not rotated as it should. The reason being, uh, whenever you rotate or translate any object, it rotates and trans translates about some fixed frame. So here the fixed frame was ground inertia ma marker that was placed at 0, 0, 0. But we need to uh, rotate this link by about this point. So um uh, let's undo this yeah so now i will define a, a new marker here so that i can rotate it by i rotate it using this marker go to marker go to body point now i have a new marker now now again I will go to object control, rotate tab, I will write my angle here 36.87. Now I will change this reference frame. Okay, so I need to drop the marker here from the database or from this GUI. So let's drop it from the GUI. Yeah. So now I will rotate it. I need to select the body first. So you can see now it's correct. Now, as you can see, still it is not perfect. So let's let's make this up object shift in minus the direction let's shift it by 12.5 mm distance in minus the direction okay and this this object by 12.5 in z positive z direction now the model seems to be proper So now we'll quickly define the joints. Go to professional revolute joint. Method will be body body point. We'll choose our first body ground body one point origin. So the first joint is ready. Next we will define our second joint that will be between this slider and the coupler. So we'll select the coupler slider point as 500 comma 0 comma 0 now we will define the third joint that is also revolute the method will be 
body body point we will select the first body second body and here you need to specify the point manually you can calculate this coordinate uh, by simple geometry okay so you can see the third joint is uh, created now i will define a translatory joint between this slider and the ground so the method will be body body point direction i have selected the first body second body point direction so i think the model is complete in all respects let's provide a joint rotation include motion velocity time now i have created or i have already created a expression that is 2 pi that is my uh, crank will rotate at 2 pi radians per second okay i will select this click okay 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 yeah so now we can simulate this okay now let's play the animation file so you can see the slider crank mechanism working i hope uh, your concepts of uh, object control in recording are quite clear now thank you for watching this tutorial bye